Hi, I'm Tim Van Milliken. I'm here at Narcon in Seattle, Washington, and I'm talking with our friend John Beans, who is the president of Jolly Logic, and he's going to tell us today about his newest product, the Altimeter 3. So, John, what does the Altimeter 3 look like? What does it do? Thanks, Tim. Uh, the Altimeter 3 is the same size and form factor as Altimeter 1 and 2. What's new about the 3 is that it includes wireless Bluetooth radio that allows it to communicate with your Apple or Android phone or tablet. What that lets you do on the field is begin recording. Uh, when the flight's over, you tell it to end recording and your flight will automatically be uploaded to your phone where it's really easy to share it with other folks, email yourself a spreadsheet of the data, it really makes the, the, the information that you get during a flight really handy. So, how, how do you use it? Well, I think the, probably the, the, the tricky part of the Altimeter 3 is that Bluetooth and getting this thing to talk to this thing. Okay, the way you'll do it is very similar on Apple or Android. You need to do what's called Bluetooth pairing as a first step. Now, both devices need to approve the pairing. And the way we do that is we go into settings. We go into settings on our phone. We turn on the altimeter. And right away, within a few moments, your phone's going to recognize that a new Bluetooth device has appeared in the neighborhood. What you, all you have to do to pair them on both, on both Android and in Apple is once, once the device has appeared as being an available Bluetooth device, you tap it on the phone. And then on both the phone and the altimeter, you need to approve that pairing. You'll be shown a six-digit number that's a, that's a secret code they both share, and that needs to be approved in both places. Okay. Each altimeter has a four-digit code that identifies it. So if you've got more than one altimeter in the area, by looking at the altimeter, this one is 78-alpha-6, you can identify the one that, you were, that, you, that you're viewing in your neighborhood. Okay, so we, we, we've got, we've, our, our altimeter 78A6 has appeared here. I'm going to tap it, and what I'll get is a request here to pair, and I see the same number on the altimeter appearing on the screen as I see here. I'm going to click the altimeter to approve it, and click pairing here to approve it, and what you'll see now in both places is it says it's connected. That's when you know that it's working well, and you've probably done the hardest part with altimeter 3. And at that point, you can put it into your rocket and launch it? You can put it into your rocket and launch it. Now, one other important thing is before you even buy an Altimeter 3, go ahead into Apple's App Store or Google Play and download the app. Okay. Is it a free app? It's a free app to download, so go ahead and do that you know, right now and take a look at the example flight that's in there. The app, when it installs, is a bright orange icon. Launch, launch, the, launch the app. And if they're not already talking to each other, press press to connect. These are connected already. And you'll see a record button. To start the Altimeter 3 recording, just press record. To stop the recording, press stop. So when you get the rocket back, where do you look? Do you look on the altimeter or do you look on your phone for the information? Well, what's going to happen is you're going to walk up to your rocket. You're going to, you're going to connect with the altimeter even while it's still in the tube. You know, one of the cool things about wireless is when your altimeter is on the launch pad ready to go, you can stand 30 feet away and tell that it's ready to go and it's recording. And in fact, if you don't know that you're going to be taking off very soon, you can even leave the altimeter not recording, wait until you're one or two away, hit record, and save the memory. But when you walk up to recover your rocket, you can tell it to stop recording when you get within wireless range and you've reconnected with the rocket via Bluetooth. So, so you don't look at the screen to find out how high your rocket went? You don't look at the screen, but what you'll see when you look at a flight, here's what you'll see. You'll see information about the flight and you can enter in your field notes. Those are real handy later because from then on when you look at the flight, you'll have your notes handy. You can look at the chart of the flight, um, which, is, which is a graph uh, that shows you You'll, you'll see on the, on the, on the, the graph of the, of the flight uh, the, the ascent, you'll see the apogee, you'll see when it ejected, you'll see the entire descent. You'll see it all right there on a graph. And this is an interactive graph, so you can zoom in and get as much detail as you want. You can actually see the pressure spike from the ejection charge, for instance, on this flight. And you'll see the apogee clearly marked.
how do you get that information onto your computer in case you want to look at it? Well, if you want to take this for further analysis, if you're doing a science fair project, you're doing some research or coefficient of drag or, your, or the, the recovery system that you're using, there's a, there's a tab called Share, and you've got several options for sharing, one of which is email. If you click on email, it'll say, do you want a summary table of like your Apogee? Do you want the, the full Excel spreadsheet? I'll say yes. And do you want a flight graph? And when you say create that email, it's then going to bring up your email program with those things as attachments, and all you've got to do is enter in the addresses, enter your own address in, enter teammates, colleagues' addresses. They'll all get a copy of the flight with a neatly formatted table, the uh, chart of the flight graph, and an Excel spreadsheet nicely attached. That's a lot of information from this little thing. Thank you, John, for sharing with us today. And uh, if you want more information, you can come to the Apogee website or go to Jolly Logic's website. And if you want to buy it, please come to the Apogee website. <laughs> so I'm Tim Van Milligan. This is John Beans. Uh, this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light. May the skies be blue. And may all your rockets fly straight and true.